Hey guys, it's time for another episode of Cookie Vision. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make my snow-capped pine trees. And I'm just outlining the first and the third section with one green. This is a number two tip, piping consistency green. And then I'm outlining the second and the fourth sections with another green. This is a bit of a darker green, also with a number two tip. So I'm just filling in the second and the fourth part here with my first green with a flooding consistency green and I'm just using my scribe tool to get rid of any air bubbles or gaps in the icing and I want to let this crust over just a bit and I'm doing the next green as well. This is just so the two colors don't flood into each other. I want that nice line in between them and I'm using my scribe tool to even out this uh, second green uh, flooding consistency icing. So I've let this dry and I'm doing the trunk and I'm just using a piping consistency chocolate brown with a number two tip and you can see it leaves a nice little texture in the bark which is what I want. So this part here I'm actually doing the snow. So I'm just piping a little bit of white royal icing on the bottoms of the branches and you could probably leave it here if you wanted to. It actually looks very cute and it's very simple. But what we're actually going to do is a little bit of a brush embroidery technique. And it's actually a very simple technique once you have a little bit of practice at it, but it is a bit of a time consuming technique so I can see why uh, some people might be a little daunted by it. So I'm just gonna walk you through it. I'm using a liner brush. It's a bit of a thicker liner brush and I'm just going to dip it into some clean water that I have on the side and I make sure to wipe off most of the excess on a piece of paper towel. And what I'm doing is I'm just starting on the bottom of the branch right on top of the white royal icing and I'm pulling upwards, brushing upwards and creating like a streaky type um, brush stroke sort of look. And it's just pulling the white up into the green and it makes it look a lot more whimsical than if you were to just leave it uh, just a solid white and it looks very very pretty. I think one of the keys too as well is to make sure that your brush isn't really wet otherwise you're going to uh, mix that with the white and it's going to start to pool on you and you don't want that you want enough water that you can basically paint into the white or use the white as paint but you don't want it so that it's going to become so saturated that you can't really control it anymore and you want those nice brush strokes too so if you have too much water you're not going to see those brush strokes and I make sure to clean my brush and clean water and wipe it off on paper towel uh, every layer and sometimes I'll go over the same layer twice if I don't like the way that it looks or if I want to get more brush strokes I'll just go over the same layer again. And I've gotten fairly quick at this technique, so I have been able to do uh, all four branches, uh, pipe all four branches, and then do the brush embroidery technique on them. But if you are just starting out, if, if you're a bit of a beginner and you haven't done this technique before, I definitely recommend just piping one or two of the layers at a time because they will start to dry and you can, you can kind of see towards the end here that uh, my royal icing looks a little on the dry side and that's okay. Uh, I just have to go over it again with a little touch more water, but you can just pipe each layer at a time if you're starting out and that's okay. And there we go, that's the finished uh, pine tree. And you can see, uh, while it's wet, it will look a little bit different. I actually have a picture here of what they look like when they've completely dried. You don't see any of those water pools and it kind of makes that nice transition into the green. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like me on Facebook and on Instagram. Bye.